Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of the world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus who has become for us wisdom from God that is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. My fiance often tells me that I am very hard to shop for. I'm not a very materialistic person. I don't often feel like I need anything too fashiony. I tend to wish for God's love to pour out onto the world, and that is a hard gift to give to someone. However, recently Jonah surprised me and bought me a gift for me that I really wanted. I didn't actually know that I wanted it, but when he told me, I was very moved. He did something unexpected, but it was exactly the right thing. God does the same thing. He turns people's worlds upside down because that is what's supposed to happen. There are so many people around the world that claim to be wise and know more about God. But I warn you that God will shame you. God will do the unexpected and uplift the poor and the oppressed and squash the rich and mighty. He will give you what you need and not what you want. He will use the weak to lead the strong. We see that throughout scripture. And he doesn't do this to show how bad people are, but how strong he is. It is for his glory. When the weak win and the oppressed stand up, they are unable to boast in themselves, but in the Lord. God is not some God that you pray to and get what you want. He isn't a God you simply offer gifts to and hope that he gives you something back. He is an unexpected God but only because we do not know what we need. He does what is necessary for us and for His holy glory. God is love, not because of who we are, but because of who He is.